learn how to play tennis. With us today on Future Sport, fastest gun in the West. That's fastest serve in the world, Roscoe Tennis. Roscoe, nice having you with us. Thanks. It's great to be here. <laughs> How'd you get started in tennis, Roscoe? Well, when I was six years old, my dad uh, wanted me to, to be able to learn how to play tennis just so that uh, I could play, like if I became a lawyer or something like that, to do after work as a social game. Uh, and there was about four or five of us that started taking lessons together in tennis. We did Little League Baseball, we played football together and everything else. And we were very competitive. And uh, we just started playing tennis together and, and really enjoyed it and played all the time. We have a way in our laboratory of measuring precisely how much power is going into that thing by measuring the forces going through the ground. So we're going to go in right now and take a look at how you serve and how many forces go through the ground with Dr. Gideon Ariel. Perfect. All right. All right, Roscoe, what we want to do now is to measure how much force you're able to throw into that serve. And Dr. Ariel is inside on his magic machine. All you got to do is come up, hit your regular serve, stand on this force plate. Whatever goes through the ground is going into the serve. Anytime you're ready. All right, let's take a look. Get in. Well, Vic, this is amazing. Look on Roscoe Turner how much force it generates on the ground. 349 pounds. Well, some people might say, why 349 pounds on the ground? I am generated on the rocket. Well, anything you generate on the ground has to come to the rocket and vice versa. Newton knew that long time ago. Action and reaction. 349 pounds, Roscoe Tanner weigh only 175, 175 pounds. So all the forces going down has to come up. 349 pounds, that's amazing, man. How much you weigh? 170. Gideon's right on then. So that's two times body weight. So you put your foot against the force plate, you dig in, and you hit the ball, you hit the ball 130, 140 miles an hour. That's amazing to me. You generate 349 pounds, as Gideon says. You shoot your cannonball by keeping your foot on the ground, and that's why, because you can't shoot a cannon out of a canoe. <laughs> anyway, Roscoe, great having you with us on Future Sport. Thanks, it's great to be here.